It's a great privilege to present the Actor Award for Best Documentary. We are in a documentary renaissance, seeing stories that not only bring us the facts and explore the world around us, but true stories, ones that are told with heart and emotion. And the nominees are... Ego, the Michael Gadinsky story. It wasn't unusual for Michael to see someone play to 30 people and then in a year for them to be playing in an arena. You'd come off stage and he'd grab you. Harley and Katya. No one was there, so no one really knows the full story besides me. Oh. And I said she should never skate again. John Farnham, finding the voice. You're the voice, Brian, They said, John Farnham has recorded You're the Voice. Is it OK to give him permission? And I said, no. The Dark Emu Story. Rick Pascoe is probably Australia's most successful con man of all time. I just got caught up in the fight. The Giants. Part warrior, part man of peace, but always committed to a cause. The Last Daughter. I had fragmented memories of a little white sister. I had to get answers. I had to find out who I was. This is going to be big. You know the school production that we've spoken about? I really want to try and get the role of John Farnham. You can conquer any situation if you put your mind to it. To never forget. Latvia has a complicated relationship to the Holocaust. He said, what's your film about? And I said, oh, we're making a film about the Holocaust. And the response was, shouldn't you go to Germany for that? And the winner is... John Farnham, Finding the Voice. Nominated for three actor awards this year, John Farnham, Finding the Voice is the highest grossing Australian feature length documentary of all time. Um, look, respect to all the other uh, nominees for this category, it's very broad what documentary is. I think it's really important to say something about John Farnham uh, and to say that I think the reason people liked this film or loved this film so much was because of what he went through and the experiences that he had in the Australian industry. He was used and abused quite terribly to begin with. He found someone that believed in him and recognised him as a world talent. We're a very small industry at that time and he was like a cuckoo in the nest. He was just the most extraordinary, generous spirit, but really badly, badly treated to begin with. And luckily he was able to find someone that believed in him, someone with extraordinary courage and vision and that person was Glenn Wheatley, and we dedicate this film to Glenn. And Glenn, and Glenn passed during the, the production, and his partner, Gaynor, carried the film to the end, and it was just an extraordinary thing to work with her, and her bravery and courage through doing that was unbelievable. So thank you, Gaynor. Um, I'd, I'd quickly like to thank the screen agencies, uh, Screen Australia, uh, Create New South Wales, Screen Victoria, uh, Angus Ross at Channel 7 was extraordinary. Thank you, Angus. Thank you, Sony Pictures. Thank you, uh, Sony Music. I'd really like to thank Beyond, uh, but perhaps I should let our director, Poppy, take over from here. Poppy, and she did an amazing job. I think we're out of time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Film, especially documentaries about collaboration and trust, and everyone here on this uh, stage worked really, really hard. It's full of archive, full of songs. You know how much of a nightmare that is. Um, but the most uh, sort of biggest trust um, was, I think, thanks, John. Thanks for letting us tell your story. Um, but Gaynor, who really worked in a really tricky period of her life to make this film a reality. So, Gaynor, thank you. Thank you so much. This belongs to, to John Farnham and Jill, who trusted us with their story. And I want to thank you. I hope you're still up. Um, and uh, to just all the fans who actually came to see this and brought it home for John. Thank you. Thank you.